Are you ready? Check out the latest from Bezista. It's trending videos. We're here to bring you awesome content. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings have become one of Marvel's best standalone features in history. Thanks to the amazing cinematography, kinetic fight scenes, and Simulu's stellar performance as Shang-Chi. The movie is spectacular, but are you aware of the Easter eggs in it that Marvel hid in plain sight? Here are a few things that you missed for Marvel's newest smash hit, Shang-Chi. Abomination, Wong, and The Raft? One of the biggest moments in the movie's second trailer was the return of the Abomination, the main antagonist in the Hulk standalone Phase 1 movie. The Abomination is seen duking it out with none other than the master of the mystic arts, Wong. Both the Abomination and Wong got to show off their impressive skill set during this fight. The Abomination uses sheer brute force in each of his attacks, and Wong masterfully uses his portals to use the Abomination's strength against him. After the cage match between the Abomination and Wong, the two are shown talking and it's revealed that the two are actually in cahoots. Wong then opens a portal for them to leave and if you look close enough, the portal looks like it leads to the raft. For those who don't know, the raft is an incredibly secure prison in the middle of the ocean that used to house the Rebel Avengers. Professor Hulk's Whereabouts we all know the awesome end scene where Shang-Chi, Katie, and Wong go out for a round of drinks and karaoke, but if you look closer, you can see a glimpse of Bruce Banner. That's right, Bruce Banner! Avengers Endgame has already established that Bruce and Hulk have worked out their differences by spending 18 months in Gamma Lab. Doing this fused the brain of Bruce Banner and the brawn of the Hulk, making them a singular entity. However, if you look close enough in the mid credit scene of Shang-Chi, you can spot out Bruce in his human form. Does this have anything to do with the snap? All we know is that this might be answered in the up-and-coming She-Hulk television show. Return of the Dua Flip Guy Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings sports a surprising cameo from a Spider-Man homecoming character. Though the character in the cameo isn't someone of major importance, this cameo did cause a few chuckles for moviegoers who knew of his existence. We're of course talking about the vlogger and the boss of Shang-Chi's astounding action sequence is the same guy who yelled at Spider-Man to do a flip. His name is Clev and we're stoked to see if he will have more appearances down the line. Extremist soldiers are still at large. As Shang-Chi stumbles across a secret fight club and passes by some inter interesting looking fighters, one of the cages shows an extremist soldier in the middle of a brawl. For those who don't know, the extremist soldiers were the main villains in Iron Man 3. We've always been running under the assumption that most of them were dispatched by the end of Iron Man 3. This appearance makes it clear that there are still more of them running around. Welcome to Hotel California. Katie is arguably the best sidekick in Marvel movie that we've ever seen. She not only provided well-needed comic relief, but she also had a character arc of her own as she became her own version of a hero. Her tendency to sing Hotel California when in a fight sounds out of place, but it ties in with the movie very well. The song is about entering a dangerous world and desperately looking for ways to escape. This is a perfect parallel to Shang-Chi's upbringing as he tried to escape the the grim world that his father groomed him into. Shang-Chi set the bar incredibly high for Marvel's next set of movies. With a rich story, lovable characters, and a bunch of easter eggs and references, you best believe that we're going to be looking forward to its sequel. Subscribe to our channel and like this video. Hit the bell button to get notified. Get awesome content! Check out our videos now!